हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियो ऑफ मार्कोल सेवेंटी थ्री सेवनटीन और लास्ट वीडियो वॉज अबाउट एन एक्स टू ऑफ मार्कोल सेवेंटी थ्री सेवनटीन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एन एक्स थ्री दट इज रेगुलेशन फॉर द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ पॉल्यूशन बाई हार्मुल सब्सटेंसेज कैरिड बाय सी इन पैकेज फॉर्म दिस एन एक्स थ्री केम इन टू फोर्स ऑन फर्स्ट जुलाई नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू एंड द रेगुलेशन ऑफ दिस एन एक्स अप्लाई टू ऑल द शिप्स कैरिंग हार्मुल सब्सटेंसेज इन पैकेज फॉर्म so what are these harmful substances harmful substances are those which are identified as marine pollutant according to the imdg code imdg code means international maritime dangerous goods code actually this imdg code is a set of three books that is volume 1 volume 2 and supplement i will provide you this uh, pdf list of all these three sets that is volume 1 volume 2 and supplements you can download it from the link provided in the description box so according to the list of dangerous goods given in the volume 2 if it is marked p in the fourth column of this list then those substances are known as harmful substances i repeat that wherever it is marked p in the list of uh, dangerous goods in the fourth column okay in the fourth column wherever it will be marked p in the list of dangerous goods then that substances is known as harmful substances or and marine pollutant and these guidelines for the harmful substances are also provided in the appendix of this annex and for the purpose of this annex packaged form is defined as a form of containment specified for the harmful substances according to the imdg code the carriage of these harmful substances are strictly prohibited except in accordance with the provisions of this annex so this was about the application of this annex 2 according to the regulation 1 Regulation two of this Annex three tells about uh, tells us about the packing. So what does it says? Packages shall be adequate to minimize the hazard to the marine environment having regard to their specific contents. Okay, it clearly says that the packages shall be adequate to minimize the hazard to the marine environment. Regulation three of this Annex tells us about marking and labeling. It says that packages containing a harmful substances shall be durably marked with the correct technical name and shall further further shall be durably marked or labeled to uh, to indicate that the substance is a marine pollutant okay so it says that packages containing harmful substances shall be durably marked with the correct technical name okay technical name should be used not only the trade name and also it should be marked on the substances that they are marine pollutant okay the next point says that marking and labels shall be such that information will still be identifiable on packages surviving at least 3 months immersion in sea okay markings should be such that they are identifiable uh, at least 3 months immersion in sea regulation 4 of this annex tells us about documentation it says that in all documents relating to the carriage of harmful substances by sea where such substances are named the correct technical name of each substance shall be used and the substance further identified by the addition of the words marine pollutant okay it says that all the documents relating to the carriage of harmful substances there a proper a proper technical name should be used and further the words marine pollutant should be used okay then next it says that the shipping documents supplied by the shipper shall include a signed certificate or declaration that the shipment offered by carriage of is properly packed marked and labeled and in proper condition for carriage to minimize the hazard to the marine environment okay it also says that the shipping documents supplied by the shipper shall include a signed certificate or declaration which says that the harmful substances are properly packed marked and labeled and they are in proper condition for carriage to minimize the hazard of the marine environment in the third point this regulation says that each ship carrying harmful substances shall have a special list for the harmful substances on board and the location okay there should be a special list on board of this for this harmful substances and their locations also and also 
a detailed storage plan which sets out the locations of these harmful substances on board can be used uh, in place of this list and also a copy of this uh, of this document should be retained on show by the owner of the ship or by the representatives until these harmful substances are unloaded and also a copy of these documents shall be available to the person authorized by the port state authorities before departure regulation 5 of this annex tells us about storage it says that harmful substances shall be properly stored okay shall be properly stored and secured so to minimize the hazards to the marine environment without impairing the safety of the ship and persons on board regulation 6 of this annex is about quantity limitations it says that certain harmful substances for scientific and technical reasons need to be prohibited for carriage or be limited as to the quantity which may be carried aboard any one ship okay also in limiting the quantity due consideration shall be given to the construction and the equipments of the ship and also to the packaging and the inherent nature of the substance regulation 7 is about exception it says that jettisoning of harmful substances carried in packaged form shall be prohibited except where necessary for the purpose of securing the safety of the ship or saving life at See, okay, it says that jettisoning or throwing of harmful substances carried in packaged form is prohibited except in case of for the purpose of securing the safety of the ship or saving life at sea. Regulation eight of this annex tells about port state control on operational requirements. It says that a ship when in a port of another party is subject to inspection by officers. Duly authorized, authorized by such concerning operational requirements under this annex and procedures relating to the port state control prescribed in Article Five of the present Convention shall apply to this regulation. So this was about the Annex Three of Marpole Seventy Three Seventy Eight. That is regulations for the prevention of pollution by harmful substances carried by sea in packaged form. i will provide you the pdf of this annex 3 you can download it from the link given in the description box to read about this annex 3 i hope you will like the video so please click the like button share the video and subscribe the channel thank you so much